Good afternoon. My name is uh, Kim Hae-san, uh, advisor of Gangnam Labor Law Firm. Today with the uh, attorney uh, labor law attorney Jung Bong Su, we will discuss about the dismissal allowance because there's a, a number of cases where there's a confusion in calculating the dismiss dismissal allowance. So could you tell me uh, the terminology, explain the terminology mm -hmm. first and some cases. Mm -hmm. Uh, hello, uh, how are you today? Uh, this is uh, Bong Su Jung, Korean labor attorney. The question um, uh, asked is about the dismissal allowance, uh, how to calculate. So according to Article 26 of the Labor Stand Act, stipulate that uh, when employer dismiss employee, employee should inform 30 days in advance. If not, uh, employer should pay 30 days uh, um, ordinary wage additionally. Okay, this is we call it dismissal allowance. Yeah. I see. So unless they give notice of 30 mm. days, they have to pay mm. 30 days uh, ordinary uh, wage. Yes, yeah, that's correct. I see. So uh, if the uh, employer is ignorant about this mm. uh, about these rules, then he should be paying more yeah. uh, than he had expected. So, uh, uh, for example, there's some allowances like annual leave and mm. uh, maternity leave. So, in such case, how much does the employer has to pay mm. in case of this uh, for the dismissal allowance? Yeah. yeah. So, dismissal allowance is calculated based. Uh, based on ordinary wage. So how to calculate ordinary wage is the uh, total amount of uh, monthly salary divided by total number of working hours. So actually in working hour plus uh, weekly paid uh, the leave, uh, that means eight hours should be added um, the, to the 40 working hours per week. So it can be 48 hours. Um, regarded for one week work, then in a month, four point three weeks should be calculated. Then, um, two hundred nine hours can be a uh, monthly uh, contr uh, monthly the working hours, contract working hours. Then, um, the uh, monthly paid like regularly paid the monthly wage divided by two two hundred nine hours. Then, um, hourly wage can be decided. Then um, the uh, ordinary, day, ordinary daily wage means uh, out of ordinary times eight hours. It can be uh, uh, daily ordinary wage. Then uh, this this initial allowance is calculated based on thirty days uh, daily wage. Then this thirty days uh, is uh, only working day. That is uh, five days uh, per week. So uh, thirty days means uh, it's more than. Uh, one month, so it can be a uh, one month plus additional two uh, weeks. Then always uh, uh, it can be a uh, one month salary plus half month. So employer usually pay the dismissal allowance with uh, one month additional salary. But strictly speaking, so forty days ordinary wage means uh, like one point five months salary. Should that employee should pay. So in this uh, logic, so uh, this is calculated based on actual working days. So uh, annual paid leave, so when uh, employee work the fully for one year, then um, uh, employee is in entitled to uh, 15 days ordinary then. Here, uh, 15 days ordinary, uh, I mean 15 days uh, uh, annual leave, that means uh, five days uh, uh, each working days uh, in, a in a week then um, uh, is, is excluded uh, uh, for the Saturday and Sunday only working days then it can like 15 days uh, uh, leave means it can be used uh, three weeks continuously so just like uh, uh, the ordinary, uh, ordinary like uh, uh, dismissal allowance so 30 days uh, ordinary wage means it can be a 1.5 months, not one month salary. Uh, but there is one exception, that is uh, 
the maternity leave. So when when pregnant employee give a birth, then uh, the employee will be given the maternity leave for 90 days. That is uh, not the uh, based on working days, but it is 90 days protection leave. That means uh, it strictly given based on calendar days. So in according to Article 60, the paragraph uh, two is. Uh, First, uh, like out of 90 days protection level, first 60 days uh, it will be given as a paid level. That means uh, um, it's a two months additional salary, not the uh, uh, calculated based on uh, working days. Yeah. I see. Uh, this is very clear. Uh, clarified uh, the the questions that I raised, mm -hmm. but nevertheless, uh, there might be still some uh, doubt about this calculation. So. I understand that the uh, uh, Gangnam Labor Law Firm has a web that mm -hmm. can explain yeah. the uh, calculation of this uh, dismissal allowance. Mm -hmm. Could you introduce that, please? Yeah, uh, you can see the, this Gangnam Labor Law Firm provide the, uh, the bilingual app where uh, you can find uh, the how to calculate the, the, the annual paid review or the dismissal allowance. So I pr provide uh, some. Mm, like uh, uh, government translation, government guideline for this uh, 30 days uh, uh, ordering wage or uh, some calculation of uh, annual paid leave, uh, especially uh, there is uh, automatic calculation chapter uh, where you can get uh, the calculation easily by putting the, the date of joining and at the, as of the time you need to calculate then uh, you can know the exact uh, the available I mean the uh, annual review days uh, that you can use for that period of time yeah, yeah I think uh, uh, in addition to the app and the website mm. I think the best way for the employer and employees to get the ask for the Kangla label law firm service yeah we are so willing to support you please come and ask Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you for joining. I